hello guys it's guys at the trader so i'm back with another video so guys as you can see by the title i'm going to be teaching you the investing.com uh, trading strategy which you can use to trade uh fundamental news yeah fund only fundamental news not technical only fundamental news so what you're gonna do now you're gonna go to your google play then download e investing.com it's it's written investing.com then after you have done with that did you enter it then uh, i think they'll 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 ask for you to create an account it's for free and you don't have to create an account just like me i don't have an account then you enter investing.com then it's 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 either you allow or don't allow no i just skip there then when you enter it will be like this When you enter it, it will look like this. Investing.com, it will look like this. Then after entering, uh, you go, you see there at the bottom, it is it written market news, search, watch list, and more. Then you go to more. Understand? Then uh, after going to more, you go to calendars. You see live markets. calendars you understand you go to calendars then after going to calendars it will look like this it will look like this wait a minute yes sir we're back so yeah hey i need to buy that uh then uh your investing.com will look like this um, it's a simple strategy guys it's a simple strategy if you wonder how guys at the trader kills fundamentals it's all about this strategy but i don't use it only i i use through confirmation it's either investing.com cnbc then technical analysis all of it then i kill an event investing.com will look like this so uh as uh fundamental traders we don't want to trade all the events because some events don't move you see the events that have one bull there it doesn't move two bulls it doesn't move we need to have three bulls so you go here let me show you you go here you press there then you see there the bottom it says low medium then you antique low, you antique medium, then you go back. Then now you are left with fundamental news that move, that make big movements. It's not big movement like CPI and NFP. No, but it makes big movement. So as you can see, today we had one at 15.45, services PMI, and it shows you, it's a USD event, service PMI at what time, 15.45, based on what uh, based on the country you are living in you understand so the event has already happened so let me go to tomorrow you can check tomorrow this week and next week guys investing.com is the best go to apple store or google play then you download it so as you can see at uh, tomorrow at four o'clock we have cat news uh, uh this thing shows you that it's cat net so the event will affect currencies that they scared like cat jpy not usd jpy cat jpy cat usd cat anything that they scared it will move at four o'clock you understand so how do i know the direction how do i get confirmation so i'll press on that event boc interest rate decisions uh wait let me go to another one uh let's see building permits it's the usd event so yeah as you can see building permits usd event set up for two so here's the strategy guys as you can see right here uh we have the actual then we have the previous so here's the strategy i hope you are listening carefully here's the strategy if the actual is bigger than the previous 
then you buy USD pairs. You understand? If the actual is bigger than the previous, you buy USD pairs, USD JPY, not gold, USD JPY, then uh, USD CAD. Anything that starts with USD, you buy it. You understand? So if the previous is bigger than the actual, you sell USD pairs. So you're going to sell uh, USD JPY, then buy gold, then buy NASDAQ. You understand? Because USD JPY and gold and NASDAQ doesn't move the same direction. You understand? So right now, uh, tomorrow is the event at uh, half past two. So as you can see right now, uh, the previous is bigger than the actual. So USD JPY is going to drop. USD CAD is going to drop. Then GBP USD is going to go up. You see, uh, USD is on the left hand side. You understand? So that's the strategy, guys. If the actual is bigger than the previous, you buy USD pairs. USD JPY, USD CAD, USD what, what, what. Then if the previous is bigger than actual, you sell the USD pairs. If it's an AUD event, you sell, uh, if the previous is bigger than the actual, you sell AUD JPY, AUD USD. But if it's the opposite, you buy AUD. You understand? So this strategy, guys, it works mostly on USD pairs. You understand? Because at the AUD and the D, it's 70% accurate. But on the USD events, uh, it's, I'll not say it's 100%, but it's 98% accurate. If you take this strategy, and mix it with pure price action, technical analysis, CNBC strategy of Kaiser the Trader. If you don't know the CNBC strategy, link is on the description down below. Then uh, look at that video and subscribe, guys. If you are new to this channel, can you please hit the like button and subscribe? Let's have a successful. Now we're going to November. Let's have a successful November, guys. Kaiser the Trader, I'm out.